Is that not the cutest face you've ever seen? Look at that little lady. I've been teasing you about what is this thing that is digging under the ground in southeast Georgia? That is the southeastern pocket gopher, a very important species down here. And I'm joined by a gentleman that knows a thing or two about southeastern pocket gophers, JT Pine. Good to be with you. Thanks so much for being on the show. JT is a PhD student in the Warnell School of Forestry and Natural Resources, and we love to collaborate with our friends in Warnell. JT, you're working on a PhD studying that species. What are you doing? What kind of things are you studying about her? We're doing a, a, a kind of a habitat composition and a bunch of other things across their entire range in Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Okay. Um, and we're looking specifically at doing some statistical sampling to check abundance and other things along those lines. So movement and behavior, and, and I'm noticing your behavior, and you put a glove on, that Definitely. makes me a little bit nervous. Are we going to handle her? Of course. All right, let's do it. Come <laughs> on, get down here. So I'm going to stand back for just a second. This is a ferocious rodent here, southeastern pocket gopher. Look at this. So JT's picking her up right behind the legs. So JT caught her last night for our show. Thank you for doing that. We will release her in a second. So look at the face, look at the body, and that mouth wide open. Why do they call them pocket gophers? They have these external fur-lined cheek pockets <laughs> right here that I'm not going to get my finger too close to because <laughs> hey. they tuck behind those rodent teeth and they can close completely and the teeth will still be out. So they can kind of dig that way. And they can also store roots that they chew on in those cheek pockets, just like a chipmunk would. Really? So they pocket that stuff away, their teeth stay out, and they use their teeth to dig as well as their hands? As well as their claws, yes. Wow. So what I want to do is I want to prevent her from getting any more upset. We're going to release her. I'm going to get my glove on. So give me a second. We're going to put her back in the ground so you can see her burrow. So let's do that. <laughs> All right, so let's play a little game. Which hole is she gonna go for? <laughs> hole number one, two, or three? I'm gonna reach over here and grab her and see what we can do. Come here, girly. Hey, it's okay. Here we got it. Thank you for being on TV with us. See you guys, let's put her back. Okay, let's see, which one? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make a new hole. <laughs> Looks like it's door number four, JT says. <laughs> we're releasing her back into the wild. And now what we're going to talk about next is this idea about how the benefits of them digging in the ground, what that does for trees and forest ecosystems down here in South Georgia. So let's go there next while we wait on her to make up her mind. <laughs> So look at the beauty behind us out here. This is incredible. A long leaf pine ecosystem. We've got some of the babies coming up. We've got the big trees here. This is a place that fire is used to control and encourage growth right here. And we're talking about the Joseph W. Jones Ecological Research Center at Itchaway down here in South Georgia. JT, why should folks care about this special little rodent we've been talking about, the southeastern pocket gopher? What should we know and folks at home know about this thing? Well, the primary thing they do is contribute to understory diversity. So if you look around here, you can see tons of different species of legumes and grasses and even poison ivy or poison oak, <laughs> yeah. which is an awesome species. <laughs> and they really will chew on the roots and do some selective herbivory to bring back a lot of the good species that we want in an area like this. Interesting. And when they feed on those things, the plants respond by putting out more growth and it helps the lushness, I guess, in the understory. Definitely. Now, I've heard that these pocket gophers are like a keystone species, like a gopher tortoise. Is that correct? Definitely. Similar okay. to the gopher tortoise, they have underground burrows. They're a little bit harder to get yeah. into and a lot of their associated species are invertebrates, but there are tons of vertebrate, like, um, uh, uh, five-line lizards and some snake species will use um, the southern pine snake. There you go. I've heard those guys. Yeah. Beautiful snake. Gets in there. Maybe they could eat what's in the burrow too. So gophers are one of the prime uh, food sources for the southern pine snake. And that's a snake that stays underground all the time. Well, JT, thanks for spending time with me today. Thanks for this coming. Is, it's beautiful to be out here. Y'all check out southern Georgia and this place if you can. Y'all know what to do. Check out the Ranger Nick Facebook page and like that and communicate with me that way. And while you're online, check out the Farm Monitor Facebook page and all the things that Ray and Kenny and others have going on. And until next time, I'm go for a drink. It's so hot out here. <laughs> Let's go for one. I'm Ranger Nick reminding you that enthusiasm is contagious. So pass it on. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you back here next month. See ya.